All right, so I've promised it a couple of times, so here it is, how to maintain a hand felted hat. Now this is mine, this is the one that I wear every day, and I cleaned it up yesterday so it doesn't look in hideous shape. But if we go back here, you can kind of see it's got some gray stippling back here that needs to be dealt with. And because I wore it, I got a little bit of the same happening on the inside of the brim. Now what that is, is that's the stiffener, all right? It does kind of leave a haze if it gets scuffed or scraped. And I'm working on my stiffener mix so that hopefully this will stop. And you're not going to have this happen so much on like your reds and your greens or the baby blues. But on the darker color hats, you're going to notice it a little bit more. So your blacks, your navy blues, um, possibly even the brown. Although the brown that I have is alpaca and alpaca seems to absorb it nicer. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a pretty significant scuff on this so that you can see, like, if I just do this, it's not a big deal. You know, nothing happens. But if I really dig in with my fingernails, you get a pretty significant scuff. So what you're going to find mostly, the stuff on the inside is actually the oils from your face and from your hair. All right. Yeah, those are going to leave a little, little mark. And yes, a sweatband would help that, but it also changes the size of the hat, which is why I don't use one. Um, and wool absorbs moisture naturally and self wicks. So if I put a sweatband in, you lose that uh, ability. Generally, I won't get something quite this significant on the top, but I will get little scuffs in the middle be when I forget to take my hat off when I'm getting in the car. And usually that's going to be around this band here. And I'll get the occasional scuff here from me taking it on and putting it off. Because as you can see, I do sport some fairly long fingernails. Um, so they do tend to, you know, they grip, they grab, you, you miss grab and, and you'll scuff. So fixing this is actually really, really easy. All you need is a bit of hot steam. Now when I say steam, I mean steam. I don't mean hot water, okay? The big thing is, is to not get your hat wet when you are steaming it. If you do, you're gonna have to go back in and remove the watermark later. So I use a garment steamer. If you don't have one, don't sweat it. If you have one of the little travel ones, those work just fine. If you don't have one of those, don't bother wasting your $20. Boil a pot of water. Put a lid on the pot. When the steam builds up, take the lid off. Set the, the hat in the steam. It'll give you the same thing. Just make sure that you've got a big enough pot that your water level is low enough that it's not going to splash up and hit your hat. All you want is the vapor. You don't want any of the wet. So I'm going to pull my steamer into the frame and kind of show you just what happens with this. So here she is. This is my steamer. Now this one's detachable. It's designed to do garments, um, which I do a lot of. But for the purposes of hats, it's very convenient to do this. So you can see my lovely scuff marks. So I'm just going to set this right here. Um, as, as it steams and it starts to soften, two things are going to happen. The marks are going to start to go away, but the top of my hat is actually going to come up as well. So this is also how you can reshape a hat if you need to. And now you can see the steam actually coming through the hat, but you can also see those scuff marks going away. Now be very, very careful if you've got a steamer like this when you take the hat off because inside the hat is full of steam as well. So you want to make sure that you don't really mess with that. Now if you need to reshape it, if it's a little too big, especially with the fedoras, um, all you need to do is grab the two divots on the front and give them an extra little squeeze and that will bring in the front of the hat enough to adjust the size for you. Um, if you want to change the flip in your brim or take it out completely, just get it nice and hot. The whole thing will soften up and become very very pliable and you can take that flip out you can change the side you can make it deeper you can make it less yep I have dogs sorry um, so the last thing that I'm gonna do is actually get the last little bit on this brim because I've got some stippling there and I don't like that um, I don't usually worry so much about the inside of the hat except on the brim flip um, unfortunately with steamers they do cycle so you'll have about 15 to 20 seconds of good steam, and then you'll have a few seconds of, of nada. But if you find your, you know, your hat brim is not as nicely flat as you would like it to be, you can reshape it just very gently. Don't be very, very careful with where your hands are in this process. I have burned myself several times. Um, 
I'm kind of used to it at this point. Um, but you don't want to get your hand right on top of your steamer. That that does hurt. It is the equivalent of putting your hand in boiling water. So be very, very careful and conscious of what's going on there. Now, if you have bought a hat from me in person in a place where I have had power, I have done this for you. I've shown you how to do this. And I have fitted this hat to your head um, instead of just to a form. If you have purchased a hat online and are finding that your hat is a little bit snug, you can get the whole inside of it nice and warm. It'll, if you hold it from by the top, you'll feel your fingers will start to kind of push into the hat. And then all you have to do is put it on your head. Put it on your head and shape it to you and how you want to wear it. Because a form is a rough estimation of the circumference of your head. It is not perfectly your head. So make sure that you are making this the best hat that it can be for you, not just for a form. And mine needs, mine needs a little bit of love because I pinched that. So I'm just going to kind of wiggle it back and forth here, get it nice and steamy. By the time you make it to your head, it is still warm. It is not hot. And then you can put it on and you can kind of mush it around your head and, and make it fit. Once you have done that, take it off while it's still warm. All right. Set it to the side and let it cool off. As soon as it cools off, all the stiffener gets hard again and it's right back to the way that you purchased it.